Okay, so here's a couple bearing problems we're going to look at. We have a cyclist rides west for 10 miles and then north for 7 miles. What's the bearing from the starting point to the cyclist? We have to make sure we draw this with the correct direction so that way when we get our answer for bearing, we'll have the correct direction on that. So north is always up and west is going to be to the left. So here is a, let's draw the starting point right here. We'll just put that make that an origin, okay? And so from this starting point, it's gonna ride west for 10 miles. We're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna go up. So we're gonna go this way over to this point. We're gonna go 10 miles this direction to the left, and then we're gonna go up seven miles, and that's gonna be this one right here. So west 10 miles and north 7 miles is asking for what is the bearing from the starting point to the cyclist. Okay, so we want the bearing that's going to be right here. What we want to do is figure out what the angle is there because that's all we really need. We know the direction. We know it's going to be north and west, so we'll have that as part of our answer, but we want to know what the uh, angle is. Now, I can find the angle inside the triangle here and I can do that by setting up a trig function. So I'm going to find this theta angle right there, the one that's inside the triangle. And then to get the bearing, we're going to have to subtract that from 90, because remember, bearings are always measured from the north to the south. So first, let's figure out what that theta is. Let's set up a trig function that relates to the information we're given. We're given an opposite and an adjacent. So for that, we can use tangent. So tangent theta is going to be equal to opposite over adjacent, so 7 tenths. So if I want to figure out what theta is equal to, I'm going to have to take the inverse tangent of both sides. So inverse tangent of 7 tenths will just be 0.7. And I'm going to put that into my calculator. And when I put that in there, I get approximately rounds to about 35 degrees. Okay, So that's going to be the angle inside the triangle. But like I mentioned before, the bearing is measured from the north to the south. So I can't put 35 for my angle for bearing. It's got to be measured from the north. So what I'm going to do is I want to get this angle right here. I'm going to do 90 minus 35 degrees right here to get the angle that's going to be on the outside. And that's the one I'm going to use for my bearing. So that one, I'll just do that in a different color here. So if this is going to end up being 55 degrees if the inside angle of the triangle is 35 because it has to add up to 90. So then I just want to put my directional letters on it. I start by going north and now I'm going to go 55 degrees this way to the left and that's going to be west. So north 55 degrees west, that'll be the bearing from the starting point to where the cyclist is. So let's look at another one. Okay, this next one's going to have to do with bearing as well. A Jeep leaves its present location and travels along a bearing of north 58 degrees east for 31 miles. How far north and east is it from its original position? Okay, this one definitely want to draw a triangle to see what's going on. So we're going to draw a right triangle uh, here. Now, I'm using the uh, this position here in the first quadrant because it says north and east. So if I go north, east is going to be to uh, the right, so that's how I knew it was going to be in the first quadrant. Now, this angle here on the outside, that's the one that's 58 degrees, not the one that's inside the triangle. It's got to be measured from the north, so north 58 degrees is there. Now, since I have to eventually figure out uh, how far it travels in each direction, this is going to be east and this is going to be north. I'm going to go ahead and put some variables there since I got to solve for those. So x is going to be the amount that goes east and the y is going to be the amount that goes west. I want to get the angle inside the triangle so that way I can, when I set up a trig function, I'll have the correct angle that's going to be inside there. So this is going to be, it's got to add up to 90, which means that it's got to be 32 degrees inside. It took 90 minus 58 to get 32 inside there. Now that I have that degree measurement, I'm just going to go ahead and set trig functions up based on that. Now, 
What we also know is it says it, it goes along this bearing for uh, 31 miles, so we can also put that distance in there uh, as well. It travels 31 miles on that bearing, so we know that side of the triangle is 31. We have everything now that we need in order to solve for x and y. So let's suppose we want to solve for x first. 32 degrees is here. We want to find we have an adjacent side and we have a hypotenuse. That means that we want to use cosine. So we're going to do cosine 32 degrees is going to equal adjacent over hypotenuse. So we're going to do x over 31. We're going to cross multiply and we get x is equal to 31 cosine 32 degrees. And if we put that into our calculator, it says actually in the instructions round of two places is needed. So we're going to do, this is going to be right here, uh, 26. 26.29 miles will be the distance there. Okay, so 26.29 would be, that's how far east it is from its original starting point. That's the x. Now if we want to find the y, how far north it is from the original position, we want to pick a trig function with this one as well. So if 32 degrees, we're going to pick the, we have an opposite side and we have a hypotenuse. So that means we want to pick a trig function that relates that. We're going to use sine this time. So we're going to use sine of 32 degrees. And we'll set a trig function up for this one, opposite over hypotenuse, y over uh, 31, we're going to do there. And we once again we'll cross multiply, so y is equal to 31 sine of 32 degrees. We're going to put that into our calculator, and that's going to give us 16.42 miles. And that'll be rounded to uh, two decimal places. So this would be how far north it is from its original position. So if you're going to be going, if you're going at that angle, at that bearing, and then you stop here, now we know exactly how far we are from original starting point. Uh, it's going to be 26.29 miles east and 16.42 miles north.